hello friends thanks for being here so in my previous video in my last video i took you through the rectangle tool the line tool as well as the double line tool in this video we are going to be looking at the polygon tool the 2d polygon tool and then the double line polygon tool so let's begin okay so if you followed my previous videos um you realize that we are still at a basic two sets okay so basically the basic two sets can be located at the upper left uh, corner of the interface once vector works is fully launched the upper left corner of the interface where my mouse cursor is currently at those or, or those tools make up the basic two sets okay so let's begin okay so we are beginning with the polyline tool okay so the polyline tool basically allows to draw a series of points a series of lines sorry allows you to draw a series of lines which terminates at the starting point so right now if i click on the polyline tool here and then mind you as i've been stating in my previous video once you click on any tool here you come here there are additional options in which the tool can be drawn so right now let's start with the first option which basically allows you to draw in a, in a street or in a straight format okay it's called the corner vertex mode allows you to draw the series of lines in a straight way okay so once you click on that you come back to your drawing area you make your click so it allows you to draw a series of lines here as you can see so i'm using the polyline tool right now and then you end at the starting point okay so you now have a fully drawn polyline okay so this is the first mode here okay we also have the we also have other modes we also have the basic vectors mode which allows you to draw in a more curvilinear way so once you click on it you come back to your interface here then you make your first click okay you make your next click okay you make your subsequent clicks okay and as, as you can see it allows you to draw in a curvilinear way as you can see then you can, and you end at your starting point here okay so moving on to the third which is the cubic vertex mode this this one to allow you to draw in curves so once you once you click on it then you come back here then you start drawing your polyline as you can see as you can see as you can see just like that okay simple as that we also have this mode here tangent arc mode once you click on it you come back to the drawing area again then you make your series of lines okay series of lines see and once you want to and if you want to i mean uh go back and if you want to go back or if you want to go back a step or if you want to go back a line you just have to click the backspace as you can see once you click on the backspace it will take you back and then ultimately it will terminate or it will um delete the polyline so so let's try this again so once we click on the tangent arc mode here under the polyline tool come back here you start making a series of lines so once you reach here and you say okay i don't really like this curve here you just have to click on the backspace and then you have to click on the backspace again as you can see once you click on the backspace it takes you back okay it takes you back and then you have to redraw or you have to redefine the the line again or redefine the point again according to your preference so once you know that it's okay you, you keep on drawing your polylines and then you can end anywhere that you want okay so that one too is, is done okay so now let's move on to the point on arc mode Mind you, all these are ways that we can use the polyline tool. So the point on arc mode. Okay, I want to allow you to draw polylines in a curvilinear way. Okay, so once you make first point, you can draw the series of lines as you can see as easy as that okay so that's pretty much that for the polyline tool once you click here and you once you click here you come back here there are 
several options you have to choose from if you want a more if, if you want a curvilinear forms then you then you stick with the um with the bezier all the way to the point on arc mode but if you want a more straight or if, if you want a straight form or if or if you want forms without curves then you have to choose the first mode here okay then that one will allow you to draw straight lines but if you want curves then you have to choose the options that um that are here okay right after the corner vectors mode all the options here basically allow us to draw polylines in curves okay so let's move on to the to the polygon tools because to the polygon tool more or less is similar to the uh it's similar to the polyline tool just that uh it lacks all these uh additional functions for you to draw in curves this 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 allows you to draw basically in straight lines okay so once you click on it you come back here to your interface you that one to start making your series of lines a series of clicks that define your lines okay as you can see here then you end on the starting point okay and then we also have another way or one way that the 2d polygon tool is different from the polyline tool is this function right here which is called the inner boundary mode basically the inner boundary mode defines a 2d polygon within a boundary so let's quickly demonstrate it here so let's say once so let's say i have uh let me quickly use um okay let me use the polyline tool for example if you have if if you have um so so let me use this polyline tool for example i'm trying to demonstrate the inner the inner boundary mode option for the to the polygon tool so uh let's say you have this one here let me draw in straight lines so you have this uh one here okay already this this one already has a boundary but with with the kind of polylines with a kind of geometry without boundaries you can actually define an inner boundary using the 2d polygon tool okay so once once you click on the 2d polygon tool you choose the inner boundary mode you come here and then once you click inside this boundary it's going to create the polygon tool inside of this boundary okay so once once you click choose you want to select this option come back here you click on it okay so it defines the boundary okay and you, you won't really see it because this one already had a white boundary but to just to differentiate for you to see i'm going to make this boundary blue okay so that i can just drag it off it for you to see that okay so right now this was what we had before this one was created this was what we have this was what we had and then once we use the inner boundary mode of the 2 the polygon tool we define this boundary inside of this one okay it's simple as that okay it's as simple as that and this was very helpful when you want to create boundaries or, or when you want to create polygons within lines okay so right now let me, let me also illustrate with this example so right now if i have this line here if i have this line here if i have this line here if i, if I have that line here okay so right now if i want to define a polygon within this boundary then i have to use the 2d polygon tool the inner boundary mode okay so once you click on the inner boundary mode you come back here you click anywhere within this boundary you see then this then the boundary or the polygon is defined within this boundary okay so, so it's as simple as that that differentiates between the 2d polygon tool and then the polyline too that's one major difference between the two okay it's as simple as that it's as simple as that so let me try with another example so let me use the same line too so once you have this 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 then you you have this okay if you want to create boundaries or if you want to create two the polygons in between this then you all that you need to do is to come back to the 2d polygon tool you select the second mode which is the inner boundary mode you just have to click in between uh, you just have to click in their boundaries to create the 2d polygons inside the boundaries mind you all the boundaries has to be all the boundaries have to be closed for the 2d for the 2d polygon mode to work okay so if there are 
leaks for example if this one is, is this boundary is not clearly defined here let me delete this once you use the to the polygon to you come back again you see it is not working because there is um there is a leak here okay so once you close it once you once you close it then you come back here again and then you use it see now it's working okay so it's as simple as that okay so let's move on now to the double line polygon tool so basically the double line polygon tool is similar to the double line tool just that this one allows you to draw in double lines okay this one allows you to draw double lines in a polyline or in a polyline way okay so uh once once you click on the double line polygon tool you come back here you come back here and then mind you, you can also define your separation here as we did with the double line tool once you click on the double line tool you see the double line had this parameter where you can define your separation as the distance between the two lines okay so the same once who goes for the double line polygon tool so once you click on the double line polygon tool you can define a separation let's say i want a separation to be say 600 you just have to select it here here where the case is then you type in your separation then you come back here as i explained in my last video with the double line tool so have additional options here which is the create lines create polygons tool or the create lines and polygons tool i'm not going to go over it again um but basically it has the same feature as the double line tool okay so 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 let's start um demonstrate or let's start illustrating with uh with the create polygons to option so the separation here is 600 millimeters so the actually the double line polygon to allows you to draw double lines okay it allows you to draw, it allows you to draw double lines continuously between two points okay so right now once you click here then you come back here to your drawing area we've already defined the separation distance which is 600 millimeters and then we are we also have these options here in which you can uh, actually uh, choose from where you want the where you want the double line to start or where you want the insertion to start from okay so right now we are having the center control line mode here so you make your first click okay basically that okay so that's how simple it is to draw the double line polygon or to use the double line polygon to it's as simple as that okay it's as simple as that okay it's as simple as that okay it's as simple as that we also have this options here which basically as i explained in my previous video uh shows you how or tells you how the the double line polygon to can be drawn if you want to start drawing from the left the center or the right it's all available here so basically that's it for this video thank you very much and see you in the next video